Hello everyone, as you can see this is Asus gaming laptop. This is Asus Tough Gaming FX 504 series. Recently we upgraded SSD from the ordinary 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. So I need to reinstall the system. So today I'm going to show you how to boot this out from the USB, bootable USB to reinstall the operating system. Now one thing I need to mention, there are two kinds of boot. One is old fashioned, which is called legacy. Another one is the latest fashion, which is called UEFI. So what's the difference between these two? So legacy boot, always they use the BIOS platform to complete the boot setup. And UEFI, it doesn't need the BIOS support to make the booting process. Okay, unfortunately, this Asus Tough Gaming FX504 series doesn't support any legacy one when i try it doesn't show anything i'm going to show you within seconds so you probably have the legacy one windows 10 bootable drive if you do have then if you tried and if it doesn't work make sure this is not the problem with your laptop okay that is the problem with the boot system so i'm going to show you within seconds first thing first i'm going to connect this legacy one connect it to the usb turn on and keep pressing f7 or f8 whatever it is one of them okay so first <clears throat> i'm going to show you how to enable the boot okay uh, regardless this is uefi or legacy so asus bios design is quite upgraded they have a key called f7 f7 will give you two options one of them is advanced mode whatever you can see right now with the illustration of battery then fan all these things this is called advanced mode and then another option called easy mode EZ mode is easy mode if you press F7 you're gonna see like ordinary traditional BIOS okay as you can see now main advanced boot security save and stuff like that all right so as you can see now this is like ordinary type okay that is much more easier so example we need to do does not matter which system you have you need to do a couple of settings so first go to advanced from here go to usb configuration which is that one okay and hit enter and check if both of them enable or disable if you want to disable make sure you make it enable okay so legacy usb support enable usb uh, mass storage uh, driver support enable that's fine then go to next which is called boot option from boot fast boot enable that is absolutely fine and if you have more than one bootable option you can delete it by using delete boot option and then go to security try to find if there is any secure boot unfortunately I don't see any secure boot option here which is absolutely fine and then what you can do we can do save and exit okay to save the settings whatever we done right now this is exactly same like old laptops you just need to press F10 to save the settings. So F10, as you can see, save configuration and exit. Yes. Hit enter. Then it should restart. At the same time, I'm going to press escape just to get into direct boot menu instead of the BIOS. Okay. Let's check. Okay. As you can see, it says enter setup. Even my bootable USB legacy boot one windows 10 thumb drive is connected but it doesn't show by using same port now i'm going to connect the uefi boot based one right in here and then i'll restart it and you're going to see that would be available for reinstall the windows so the system is turned off i use the same usb port now power on press the escape hopefully we would be able to see UEFI SanDisk Cruiser Pop Partition 1. Can you see that? Okay. So now I'm going to hit enter and the laptop would start up from this USB UEFI boot. It's going to take a couple of seconds. It depends on how fast it is. You can see a little bit of light and the circle button, which is quite positive. The blue screen of windows setup as you can see now okay and that's how you enable the usb boot remember always try with the latest boot system which is uefi now if you don't know how to make the disk 
UEFI bootable Windows 10 thumb drive, then please let me know in the comment section. I will produce another video for you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple of things from here, which is everybody almost knows. Okay, select the country or location that you want to choose. Hit next, install. Now we need to accept the terms and condition and then it would be pretty much simple and straightforward. So this is the terms and condition, accept it, go next. If you want to do clean installation, then you need to choose the second option because my SSD is completely brand new. There is nothing on it, so I'm going to choose that one. Okay, but if you choose that one, you're going to lose all of your previous files. So make sure you do backup before you to this process. Now, as you can see, this is my new install SSD. I'm going to choose that one. I don't want to create one partition. I just want to leave the whole single partition. So I don't need to click on new or anything. I'm going to just click on next. Once I do that, then actual Windows installation process will be in progress and then it would be done. Right, so that's the actual windows as you can see this is the final moment so that's how you enable the usb boot for asus fx504 gaming series laptop okay remember if you have eefi bootable usb thumb drive windows 10 one much more easier okay and let me know still if you do have any question regarding this model usb boot or anything else or any upgrade and thank you so much for your time I hope I will see you in the next video guys, bye for now.